Anemia is characterized by a decrease in hemoglobin and red blood cells. Eventually this leads to an inability to carry enough oxygen to meet the body's needs. Childhood in ancient Egypt was on two opposite sides of comfort. Some children enjoyed the luxury of becoming a pharaoh before they were 10 years old, while others suffered from iron deficiency and a lack of oxygen in the blood. Subscribe to not miss the latest and most interesting news of ancient Egyptian discoveries. The results of a new analysis of childhood mummies showed that anemia was a common problem for Egyptian youth. This, for its part, led to a high level of skeletal defects and may have sent some children to the other world prematurely. Researchers decided to study 21 ancient Egyptian childhood mummies using full-body CT scans. Through this, they found skeletal abnormalities commonly associated with anemia, in particular enlargement of the skull vault, that is, the part of the skull where the brain is located. The ages of the mummified children ranged from 1 year old to about 14 years old. Overall, 7 or 33 percent of the ancient volunteers had abnormal enlargement of the skull vault, indicating that they probably suffered from anemia. While conducting the analysis, the specialists noticed an excess of bone marrow in the boy's skull and facial bones. So they speculated that the child may have suffered from a congenital disease called thalassemia, caused by an inability to produce hemoglobin. It is now successfully treated with blood transfusions and chelation therapy. However, the ancient world hardly had such tools and capabilities. Therefore, the young man appears to have suffered from severe anemia and skeletal changes that are the result of bone marrow enlargement. Therefore, it is not surprising that many children in ancient Egypt died very early and thalassemia was the probable cause of death.